Welcome back to Rabbit Noise. My guest on the program now is the one and only Zach Wild. How are you going tonight, man? What are you doing, brother? No, nothing. Just hanging out, man. Just got done doing, uh, like I said, two uh, Mad Max and Thunderdome sweatbox gigs over here with the uh, Istanbul chapter over right there, over in Turkey. So uh, it was definitely very cool last night. We did two of them, which were way cool. That's awesome, man. That sounds like an absolute blast. So... Uh, how long are you over there for? Uh, we're doing, uh, it's the 2014 Metal All-Stars. So I'm just cruising with a whole bunch of friends that I've known throughout the years. I mean, Udo Dirk Schneider's out on this thing, and I first met Udo 25 years ago when he was, uh, who started the solo band, and he was out with Ozzy. So uh, we were just laughing and talking about that. But, um, no, I mean, you, you got Mash Cavalera out here. Uh, Joey from Anthrax is out here. You got a, a bunch of the guys from Shadows Fall are out here. Uh, it, it, we're definitely having a blast out here. Cobra Page is out here, so uh, it's definitely cool. Me and Blast go rolling together, and just we get up there and jam every night and play a bunch of Sabbath tunes and some Black Label stuff. It's great. You're just about to uh, release your brand new Black Label Society album, Catacombs of the Black Vatican. Where did you get the title for that album? Uh, well, you know, obviously the Black Vatican is my home studio, so uh, and yes, it is painted black. So uh, if I was Jimi Hendrix, I'd paint it purple. So, I mean, but no, it's just, uh, well, obviously, you know, me being the genius that I am, so it's the catacombs would be the songs and, the you know, catacombs of the Black Vatican where we record them. So it just goes to, uh, that's the reason why I'm the lead singer and I'm the genius here. So that that's about the, the extent of my Einsteinian genius for that title for the, uh, the album cover. <laughs> it sounds really heavy, man. It's, uh... The the album title it sounds kind of like a maybe a black metal record. No, I dig it, brother. Oh yeah, but I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, but if we were if we were playing, you know, black metal, we would be a black metal because we're black label. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I've I was lucky enough to uh, get a sneak peek at the uh, new album, and I, I love it. Uh, is, is there a song on the album that uh, you're particularly proud of? Um. Well, no. I mean, it's just a. You know, I think it just depends. I mean, it's just like when, uh, you know, I mean, I dig everything that's on the record. I mean, of all 15 songs, I dig, um, I'm really happy with the way every one of them came out. So, it, it, like you said, it depends on what mood you're in, you know what I mean? It's mm. just like, you know, I mean, are you in the mood for a Japanese steakhouse? you're in the mood for pizza, are you in the mood for Thai food, are you in the mood for, you know, uh, Irish pub food? I mean, it, it, you know... I mean, as, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, that's how it is listening to the song. It depends on what mood you're in, you know. So, uh, well, what mood are you in for now? Um, I don't know. Whatever whatever tastes good. <laughs> it was like, you know, back in the day when I was drinking, it was just like, well, what what beer are you into? You know, what mood? It's, it depends on whatever mood we're in, man, because they're all going to get us hammered. So I'm, I'm good with every one of them. Uh, awesome. <laughs> well, um, you've been in the business for so many years now, and you've released so many great records when it comes to you know the album touring cycle, which part of that process would you say uh, is your favorite or least favorite? No, the whole the whole thing. I mean, I I enjoy the whole process, man. There's not one there's not one part of it I don't enjoy. So, I mean, you know, down to the, the process of writing it and then recording it and then mixing it and finally listening to when it's all done and we're all happy with it, and then. Uh, Designing the album artwork, and then designing the merch, and then designing the stage set, the props. So, you know, I mean, everything. I mean, if I was a if I was a professional sports team owner, I mean, I'm I'm into the trades, the drafts, the the way the uniforms look, the way the, the stadium looks, the way the field looks, the concession stands, what what restaurants we have in the stadium. I mean, the whole the whole thing, the accommodations for everybody that's coming in, so everybody has a good time. So, I mean. I enjoy my hand. I, I love having my hand in everything, you know. So I, there's not one aspect of it that I don't enjoy doing. Because if I'm not playing the guitar, if I'm not sitting behind a piano, there's something else I got going on with Black Label. That's awesome to hear, man. Uh, you know, because sometimes, you know, traveling and stuff like that, not everyone's fond of that. But um, yeah, you know. I mean, you know, I have four kids, and everyone's like, oh, do you miss your kids and this? And I go, yeah, but they have a, they have a life of their own as well. Yeah, you know, especially the older ones. But I mean, I'm just saying, like, you know, I mean, if it was any other, I mean, if we were cavemen, 
we'd have to go out and get the food, wouldn't we? I mean, you know, you can't just stay in a house all the day long. That's and true. It's just, it's, it's, yeah, so it's just like, you know, I mean, everyone's like, oh, but you're going to be away from your kids, and, you know, the little guy, Sabbath Page, he's only one and a half. I go, yeah, well, how do you expect them to eat, you know? you got to go out and hunt, man. So, I mean, it's just like, and I'm blessed that I get to provide for my family doing what I love. That's awesome, man. Well, I have a few uh, guitarist friends who uh, really look up to you as a player, and a couple of them asked me to ask you a couple of questions, if that's cool. Dan O'Jada uh, wanted to know if uh, there are any guitarists out there at the moment that you admire that we may or may not have heard about. Um, well, no, we were just out on the road, you know, I mean, just a bunch of phenomenal guitar players I was just out on the road with, Kenny Wayne Shepard, uh, Eric Gales, and obviously Eric Johnson, and then uh, Johnny Lang. I mean, all the guys that were out there killing it, you know, Brad Woodford was out on a tour. I just did the experience in and it was a great time. Well, that sounds awesome, man. Well, also, another friend of mine, Jake Weber, wanted to know if uh, your Marshall signature head will ever be released as a production model. Yeah, well, no, we're talking about releasing the new one, you know, because we released the other one, I think it was 2003, I think, when we released the, uh, my first signature head. So we're just talking about doing another one as well. So, uh, no, I love, you know, like I said, I would love being involved with the whole process and working and designing and everything like that. So it's 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 killing. It's my Marshall family. So it's uh yeah, we're working on that right now. That's in the work. That's awesome. That'll uh, make him pretty happy to hear that one. Also, I read your book uh, a few months ago, and you know I really enjoyed it. You know, you probably have a million more stories to tell. Can, can we expect a follow up to that book? Oh yeah, sure. I mean, all I got to do is get out on the road for about six months, and I'll have a, I'll have a whole other book right there, man. <laughs> you know, well, you probably got uh, plenty more more stories as well. Yeah, totally, man. I mean, I'm, you know, we just got a bunch of stories just from being out on this thing between the travel and the. And the comedy. So, I mean, it's just uh, we're having a good time while we're out here as well. I'm sure you've got a hectic tour schedule coming up in uh, support of Catacombs of the Black Vatican, but can we expect to see you guys down here in the near future? Yeah, without a doubt, for sure. I mean, it's going to be a whole other worldwide crusade of doom. So, uh, yeah, obviously we're starting, you know, the 16th in the States. We've got six weeks out. We're down, put your babies in the devil, you know. Then, obviously, we're going over to Europe for about another four weeks. And we come back to the States to some other, you know, marks that we didn't hit, some other places. And then Canada, run through Canada. Then I'm sure we're going to head down to Australia, over New Zealand. And then uh, then obviously head over to uh, Asia this time. So it would be great. And, and, you know, we'll show the whole nine yards, just the entire world. And we were out last time for over three years doing um, Order of the Black, so I, I don't see any difference on this one. Oh, we can't wait to have you guys back down here. So uh, do you know roughly when? Or is it just still in the works? No, I don't know right now. But I mean, obviously, the tour starts on the uh, on April. All you got to do is look on our website; you'll see everything there. Well, you've done so much in your career, you know, not just with music. Is, is there anything that you feel that you'd still want to achieve, you know, in or outside music? Well, right now, I mean, obviously, you know, my main focus is obviously we're having a blast out here. But now, just putting together a set list and getting everything together for when we start boot camp and. Uh, come up, I guess, uh, on the 10th of April is when we start, you know, Black Label Boot Camp and rehearsal. So uh, that's my main priority right now. But no, I just, you know, one thing at a time, man. Awesome, man. Well, we're going to go to the track, My Dying Time, from the, your latest album, Catacombs of the Black Vatican. Look, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us tonight, Zach. And oh, dude, thanks really for having me, brother. You and, uh, you know, tell the Australian chapter to stay strong, keep bleeding black. God bless, and we'll see you guys in a little bit, man. Awesome, man. Take care, boss. Bye, bro. Thanks, man.